Good morning. It is the 1st of May today, which means the start of everyday May vlogs. Fantastic. <laughs> I was waiting for Charlie's reaction. So at the moment we're staying at my mum's house because we are having our house renovated and it was meant to be done when we got back from our US trip, but turns out there's a little bit more to be done than we thought. So we're with mum for a couple of days. We are heading to mum's spa now. We're gonna go to the gym at Penny Hill and this is gonna be the first time that Charlie and I have gymmed um, since before we went to the US. So it's gonna be quite a challenge. We're both looking forward to burning off some of those burgers though. So let's go. So we've pretty much got the gym to ourselves here at Penny Hill. It's literally me, mum, Charlie, and one other lady. But I'm finding it so much harder than before we went to California. I feel like all those burgers have definitely knocked me back a few weeks on my gym routine. Um, but I'm just doing a little bit of cardio, a few leg weights to try and burn some serious calories, get back into the swing of it. And then I think we've got our PT next week back at Virgin so it'll be really good for Adam to kick us back into shape but I'll show you a few of the exercises I'm doing I've done 20 minutes on the treadmill already just doing like high low sprints and then I did a circuit of leg weights the two machines that you just saw me doing so now I think I'm gonna head over to the weight area and do some weighted squats because I find that those really burn and even if I don't have too much energy I can normally get quite a lot of those done so let's go the gym and um, I'm going to do my makeup so I thought I would do it with you guys starting off with some SPF this is the Illumia MD broad spectrum SPF 42 so I'm gonna apply a little bit of that as my moisturizer this is a really nice high SPF so good for days like today when it's a little bit sunny if we're gonna be spending some time outside and I find this is one of the best ones as a, mace, as a base for the makeup. It sinks in really quickly and it doesn't leave any whiteness. And then because I didn't really pack terribly well because of the house being in such a mess, I'm gonna mostly pinch mother's makeup because I'm using her Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, which I do actually have at home as well. This is just gonna be a five minute makeup routine because we're heading to Charlie's auntie's house for lunch in about 10 minutes time. So this is my Stila Eyes Are The Window palette. It's got loads of brown neutral shades in it. This is the one I pretty much used every day while we were traveling in LA, Dallas and New York. Um, just because it's got day to night shades in it, pretty much every shade that I need and it's really good for an everyday palette so I just blend a couple of browns over the lids then I'm going to use my Benefit brow pencil just to add a little bit of shape to the brows and then some gimme brow just to finish off the shape and this kind of sets them in place as well pinching mum's bronzer this is the Clarins bronzing and blush compact I think this is from the new collection and then as always putting it under my cheekbones and then up on the forehead just to make me look as I've got a little bit of colour. I feel like while we were in the US I lost all my tan so at the moment I'm using this which is a tester or a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Overnight Bronze and Glow Mask and so far I've only used it two nights but so far I am impressed even Charlie said I was looking a bit browner this morning which is good and then I'm bringing this down on my neck to try and blend in the colors because I did fake tan earlier today as well so just trying to make it seamless color also going to use mum's Clarins cream blush I think this is actually a foundation brush but I'm guessing she uses it for blusher judging by the color 
So we're just going to put a little bit of that on the cheeks. And then just a lick of mascara. This is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. This is the one that I used the whole time while we were away. It's the only one I took with me. Um, and it's really good if you don't have eyelash colours with you because it still adds loads of volume. Okay, so that's far from perfect, but Mum and Charlie are ready to go. So I'm just going to whiz the blow dryer through my hair, get changed and head out. That's literally the most basic of makeup routines, but... That's all we got time for today. Right, where's the hairdryer? So I had actually forgotten how good tangle teasers are until I tried using mum's hairbrush to brush my hair. I forgot that normal hairbrushes just don't work for me. This tangle teaser has got a picture of Dexter on it. I'm not sure if that's something that they offer as a service now or if that was just like a blogger gift but either way it is officially my new favorite hairbrush i also lost my wet brush in the first week of our us trip so this is the only thing that i've pretty much used for the past month i've only dried my hair like three quarters but i'm being shouted at that we've got to go so it's gonna have to do all right let's go and get changed so this is an example of how not to pack in a rush because what I've done is I've grabbed three different clothing items that I absolutely love but they don't go together in the slightest. I'm just trying to do, it, do my blouse up one-handedly. So this is my infamous dog blouse, a dupe of the Stella McCartney one, sadly it doesn't have any sausage dogs on it. Um, and then these jeans, they have really nice detail on them. These I actually got from Reese when I used to work there a couple of years ago and just always have really loved the fit. They've stayed really nice. And then these shoes are a bit of a dupe for the Chanel ones, except they were only 39 pounds. So yes, I love everything in the outfit, just not necessarily all together. I'll leave links to everything down below as always. So yeah, we're ready to go. Look at Louis's bottom. <laughs> Finishing touch to the outfit of the day. Is lipstick. Oh. Probably around. Okie dokie, so we're finally in the car en route to Charlie's auntie's house. So I thought I'd have a catch up with you while I'm not rushed. Um, so I think the last time I vlogged was in Texas, but I'm going to be vlogging Dallas, Dallas Texas. And um, so yeah, it's going to take a bit of getting used to vlogging every day again, but. I enjoyed doing Everyday May last year and this May I've got quite a lot of fun things coming up so it's a good time to do a bit of vlogging. So um, we're getting the house done up which I mentioned briefly earlier but we have basically lived in our house for five years, coming up to five years and we've never really done anything with it. It was always in fine condition, it was just you know, it was nice but we've always wanted to put our own stamp on it so we kept putting it off saying that we were too busy and then finally mum actually had a brainwave. She thought that she could come over while we were in the Maldives and get a load of no, Yeah. not while we were in the Maldives. Yeah, so she came over while we were in the Maldives to get oh, the coats. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. So sorry. She, she lived in the house for a couple of days while we were away for two weeks last time and had lots of different builders come over and give quotes and give some instructions as to what they could do. And then while we were away on our US trip that we got back from a couple of days ago, she also went over to oversee the start of the work. So mum has been a bit of a lifesaver and it's really helped us to get the project off the ground. So I will show you how the house is looking when we get back home this afternoon. They've done a lot of stuff. They've painted loads of the walls, they've ripped up the old carpets and they've started on the ensuite bathroom. But I will vlog the process and show you the house as it starts to look a lot better. Um, what else we got going on this month? So I've got a couple of trips coming up. I'm going to Monte Carlo with Reward Style, just as a little girly break. And then from Monte Carlo, I'm going to Paris with Birchbox to see the new Birchbox store, so that'll be fun. You've got some travels as well, haven't you, Dolly? Yeah, I'm off to Paris with Citroen in a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, where else am I off to? I'm doing a six night cruise with Carl. Um, I don't even know where that, that is. In May? No, that's in June. Oh, that's in June. That's in June. 
Um, I can't even remember what else I've got on, but it's quite a busy month though, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to Marseille uh, oh, with yeah. P&O Cruises, which should be good fun. Oh, yeah. So it should be quite a fun month to vlog. And um, yeah, so I will share all of those travels with you guys through daily vlogs. I think I might intersperse a few sit downy type videos as well because there's a few that I've been meaning to film. So if there's anything that you would like to see, then let me know because. Um, I don't know if you're allowed to overtake. To so let me know if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see because I'm going to need a lot of inspiration this month if I'm doing a video every single day. But yeah, today we are en route to Charlie's auntie's house after a good gym session in Penny Hill. Do you feel like you burnt off your California burgers, darling? Not quite. No. I feel better. I feel a lot better for it though. Like, yeah. I'm looking forward to getting back into the gym because, God, do I feel like I've put on weight. Yeah. We ate so much in America. It's all like the <laughs> butter. Like it's not so just burgers. Calories. It's like butter and everything. Yeah. Everything has sugar in as well. Yeah. Like even honestly, I'm not joking. I even feel like some of the water we had, the lemon in really sweet as if yeah. they put sugar in it so basically we're gonna have to go detox. hard in the gym we're gonna detox and we're going to get back on it with our personal trainer Adam and I will share our getting back to fitness routine with you yeah well. some healthy cooking hopefully when we get our kitchen back in order so tonight we're gonna see how livable our home is gonna be I think it's probably gonna be a case of sleeping in sleeping bags on Do our bed with dust sheets on yeah because our bed has got all the furniture on top of it and dust sheets and everything so it's gonna be we're gonna be roughing it for a few days so that's the plan we should just get a tent in the garden that would be jokes yeah yeah but you joke but that would probably be a good option <laughs> camping in the garden I think we're gonna have to leave Dexter that with would make a funny vlog yeah, camping in our own garden. In our yeah. tiny, tiny garden. <laughs> yeah. So I probably won't vlog at Charlie's auntie's house because I always find vlogging at family things can be a little bit weird and intense. Um, so yeah. I will probably see you guys again when we're driving back to London or even at home. So see you later. Okay, we've just got back home after a lovely afternoon at Charlie's auntie's house. We went for a nice long walk with Dexter and then we just had a nice lunch, sat outside in the sunshine and we've just got back home. It was just under an hour's drive, which is great, no traffic. And um, we're not too sure where we're gonna sleep tonight because the house is um, very much a building site. Apart from the kitchen, this is our little haven. Nothing has really changed in here. I'm gonna give you a little whiz around the house to show you where we are at with the renovation because when I showed it on my Instagram stories, a lot of you are very interested to know what we're getting done. So um, I will share the process. So starting in the kitchen, we've just basically had a new lick of white paint on all the walls. Um, the cupboards have had a new fresh coat of paint as well, just on the outside, just to make them look a little bit more fresh. But I think, oh, they've done the insides as well, which is good. And then up here at the top, I've put a really nice pink color. It's like a putty, kind of neutral, dusky pink. I think that's a Faro and Ball one. Um, or maybe that's one that I got from home base. I'm not too sure. But yeah, so that's all that's really happened in the kitchen. Everything's just very dusty and dirty. Obviously, we've not been here for two weeks. It's just been the builders really. So it's all a little bit grubby. And then out in the corridor, so this is the main landing area. We've got dust sheets all along the floor. This has all been painted as well because above me here, we used to have a really bad like water stain from when the bathroom leaked upstairs. So it's just desperately needed a new lick of paint and then all the edging has desperately needed doing the whole time we've been living here. So that's finally done. So go down the corridor. You may recognize that we usually have like a radiator cover on here, which makes it a little bit prettier, but obviously they've had to move that to do the painting. And then this is the lounge. We were hoping that we might sleep on the sofa, but the sofa is currently underneath all of these boxes. Obviously before Charlie and I went to America, we had to tidy everything away from the shelves into the middle of the room so that they could access everything to paint it. These are our shelves, currently totally empty. And they've had a fresh 
lick of white paint. We've not been very adventurous with the paint in here, we just wanted to keep it really nice and bright. So even though it's quite dark outside at the moment, this room still feels really lovely and light and airy. So nothing has really changed in here, just fresh paint. We're gonna get some new lampshades as well because those are just super old. I also think when I'm putting stuff back, all of this stuff, I'm gonna have a big, big clear out. So hopefully, maybe do a car boot sale next weekend because I think we're gonna have a load of house stuff to get rid of. Um, I think tomorrow, one of the jobs, they're gonna be actually replacing these windows because they're so grubby, but they're actually, I think the word is bird maybe, when there's like a gap between the double glazing and there's constant steam inside them. I don't know if you can see that but it just looks like there's water in the windows, which is not what you want. Upstairs, you can see they've taken the carpet away from the stairs because we're getting all the carpet replaced in the house. So they're just wooden, bare steps at the moment. And then we're on the staircase at the moment. This wall here actually looks white in this light, but it is a very pale, dusky pink color, very much like the blush pink on my blog theme. And this is a Faro and Ball color. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I'll leave it on the screen now because it's such a beautiful color. It looks different in different lights as well. It's so pretty. See, now the lighting is adjusted on the camera. You can tell it's kind of more pink compared to the white here. We literally have no idea where we're gonna sleep tonight. Maybe we put sleeping bags on the floor in here. Can't sleep on the floor. Have to sleep on a bed. Like... Have we got any friends nearby that have got spare beds? No. Polly and Alex's sofa? No, 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 It's probably not a bad chat. No. Anyway, so this is the room that Mum and I and Charlie painted a few months ago. So this one hasn't had to be repainted. So this is the stuff room at the moment. It's just got... Hang on, have they not painted this? I think they will do. No, it's grey. We painted it grey. Did we? Yeah. Well, so all of our out. stuff is in this room at the moment. I've got all the plants on my desk. <laughs> And then this is the room that I used to do a lot of my filming in until I started doing it downstairs. But I wanted this room to be bright, bright white so that it could be as bright as possible for filming again. So this room's had a fresh lick of paint as well. Once again, all the furniture is just in the middle of the room. And then because we're getting new carpet throughout the upstairs, they've started to cut away the carpet at the edge of the room so they can get really close to the skirting boards. And then... Down the corridor, this is what mine and Charlie's bedroom currently looks like. <laughs> Pretty grim. So we may have to clear a load of stuff off the bed because I think this is our best bet for sleeping tonight. Looks pretty grim, but this is the room that I'm most pleased with so far. So they've already painted all the walls in here. This is Faro and Ball Elephant Breath, and I'm so pleased with how this came out. In some lights, it looks like a dove grey. In some lights, it looks like a really light mocha kind of brown. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then we've got, again from Faro and Ball, a new wallpaper. You may remember we used to have this very standard kind of Laura Ashley blue wallpaper here before, which was what the previous owners put in here. Um, but this new one is like a wisteria pattern and it's just so beautiful. Once again, it catches the light in different ways and it's like brownie, white and grey shades. So it really, really tones in with the walls. And then last but not least, I will attempt to show you what our ensuite currently looks like. So this is our current ensuite bathroom. Obviously we're getting all new tiles, which they're currently putting in for us. New floor tiles as well. That's going to be the shower, we're getting a new toilet here, new sink and new cabinet, but yeah, it's looking like a bit of a mess. And I've just realised, of course, that the builders have got my stuff out from underneath the bed. Don't know if any of you guys spotted this, but that's rather embarrassing. <laughs> so I think Chaz and I are going to try and clear this bed, we're probably going to put some dust sheets on it, get out some sleeping bags and camp in our own house tonight. This room is not getting touched at all, um, but we're currently using the bath for our blogger mail. So <laughs> everything that's been posted for the past couple of weeks has been put in the bath because we cannot deal with that right now. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is pretty much the builder's bathroom. So looking a little bit gross. Okay, we've decided that we're gonna sleep in the bedroom. <laughs> so we're gonna start by trying to tidy up this room a little bit and fingers crossed we can make some space on the bed 
at least so that we can sleep in sleeping bags. I don't think there's any point in getting bedding out because it's just gonna get dusty and dirty. So we're gonna camp tonight. <laughs> the rest of the house we've managed to make our bed we found some bed linen and a duvet hidden under one of the sofas so we have our grand total of four square feet of comfort um i think we're gonna have to be really careful to not walk around barefooted because there's screws and nails sticking out all over the place next stop we're gonna try to clear out the bathroom so at least we can shower without showering in a building site <laughs> Okay, so we've had our dinner and we're going to have a fairly early night now because nothing else that we can really do in the house. So luckily I've managed to salvage most of my evening skincare routine. First of all, I'm going to take the bulk of my makeup off with some cleansing water. This is one I haven't actually used before. It's by Aborium and it's a 3-in-1 micellar cleansing water um, and it's, I think it's a Korean brand. Formulated with seven herbs, gently cleanses the skin without drying it. So let's give this a go. Okay, my camera battery has just died. So I'm gonna do the rest of this vlog on my phone. Um, so, what? So sorry if the quality is a bit appalling. Oh, and I can't find any way to prop it up. Okay, world's least flattering angle. But there we go. Okay. Les Al Cleanse and Polish, Orange and Clove. This one always reminds me of Christmas because I think that's when I got it. Maybe it's a Christmas limited edition, but still the best cleanser. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I've removed my cleanser and I've just realized these pajamas are very revealing. These were a really good find. They are a good dupe of the Victoria's Secret ones, but these I think were about £12 from Misguided. I think they might have sold out now, but I'm going to have a little look and if I can find them I'll leave them linked down below. So I'm going to brush my teeth, I have no idea where my normal toothbrush is because we don't have a bathroom cabinet in the other bathroom anymore. But this is one that I use when I'm travelling, it's a brand called Sonic Chic, I think that's what it's called. Um, or just Sonic maybe, and Chic is the model, but it's a really good travel toothbrush because it has a little lid as well, so it doesn't get all gross in my travel bag. And then, usual toothpaste, this one is Sensodyne Pro Namel, multi-action, bright, fresh and clean every day, that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, I do have quite sensitive teeth, so this is a really good one for me. It means that I can use whitening strips and my teeth are a little bit more protected. So that's my toothpaste. Okay, so last but not least, I'm gonna put on some of my retinol serum. This is a Lumiere MD, which you may recognize from my uh, skincare secrets video. This one I use maybe once or twice a week, and it just helps to resurface the skin, keep the skin looking beautifully glowy, helps promote skin cell regeneration. And it's quite a strong one, so I do actually notice a difference with this, but I don't put too much on just because my skin is fairly sensitive. You need to make sure you're using a really good SPF if you do use a retinol serum like this one. Okay, so now I'm just going to go into my bedside table and find a nice gentle moisturiser and we're done. So I think I'm going to end today's vlog here, just going to get into bed now. I think we're going to watch Line of Duty. We're very far behind, we're still watching the Netflix series, but I keep seeing people tweet about it, so we're trying desperately to catch up. So I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you're excited for everyday May, and don't forget to leave any video ideas down in the description box, and I'll try my hardest to get through as many of them as possible. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.